change in just a few weeks. I used to be Charlie Green, the unstoppable soccer king. Until I started to feel tired all the time and covered in bruises. My doctor said this is because I have something called leukemia. I don't even know what leukemia is. Aha! Welcome, Charlie. Huh? Hang on a minute. Pump? Abacus? What's going on? Scanners indicated you desired information regarding your condition. Imparting medical information to keen young minds is what we do best. Leukemia is a problem with your white blood cells. Your white blood cells are made in your bone marrow, so that's where we'll start. Your bone marrow is a soft, spongy material found inside your bones. Setting coordinates to Mediland's bone marrow. Medi mission, meet the cells. A quick teleportation later, we find ourselves in the bone marrow. Your blood cells are made right here. There are three main types of blood cells. White blood cells, red blood cells, and platelets. Red blood cells carry oxygen to every part of your body. Got to get strong. White blood cells protect your body by fighting germs. Take that germ. And platelets plug cuts to stop bleeding. We're doing it, guys. We totally made a clot. Whoa, where are those guys rushing off to? Once your blood cells are fully grown, they head out into your bloodstream to do their jobs and keep you healthy. Let's follow them. In the bloodstream. Oh no, is that why blood cell okay? After a while, all your blood cells get too old or damaged to keep doing their jobs. But fear not, that's why your bone marrow keeps making new cells. Let's head back to the bone marrow. Your bone marrow makes new cells to replace the ones that are lost. Well, that's what normally happens. But in leukemia, there's a problem with the way your white blood cells are made. Problem? What do you mean, problem? Oh, yeah. Let's get this party started. In leukemia, the bone marrow makes faulty white blood cells, or leukemia cells, lots of them, and doesn't know when to stop. It's getting pretty crowded in here. Eventually, the leukemia cells crowd out the normal blood cells. Help me! I'm squished! See you later. Woohoo! And spill out into the bloodstream. We better get out of here while we can. Abacus, initiate teleporter. Back at Medi HQ. From the bloodstream, the leukemia cells can travel all over the body. Let's see if we can track them. Setting leukemia cell tracer to max. Uh-oh, they've traveled pretty far. The leukemia cells can cause problems in different parts of your body. As the bone marrow becomes crowded with more and more leukemia cells, there isn't enough space to make healthy blood cells. Abacus, fire up the cell cam and let's check out the bloodstream. Cell cam live from the bloodstream. Low levels of platelets mean that cuts heal more slowly and you bruise easily. Low levels of red blood cells mean that your body doesn't get enough oxygen, so you feel more tired and out of breath. A big problem is that leukemia cells can't do jobs like fighting germs that your normal white cells do. This means you are more likely to get infections. Wait, you aren't going to try to stop us? Nah, carry on. Do your worst. Even though these cells are tiny, they sure cause lots of problems. Yeah, and these problems are all clues that help the doctors decide if you've got leukemia. But to be sure, they'll do some tests. First up is a blood test that shows how many of each type of blood cell there are in your bloodstream. If too many white blood cells are seen, your doctors will take a closer look at your bone marrow. To do this, doctors will do a bone marrow aspirate which is where a needle removes cells from the bone marrow in your hip bone. Note, the procedure doesn't take long and you'll get medicines to numb your skin and to make you sleepy. Doctors will also do scans like a CT or MRI. The pictures will tell if the leukemia has spread to your liver, spleen, or glands. Well, I do like getting my picture taken. Next, you'll get a lumbar puncture to check for leukemia cells in the fluid around your brain. 
Doctors will take a small amount of fluid from your back using a needle. So what do the doctors do once they know it's leukemia? There are different types of leukemia. Once the doctors know which type it is, they will start treatment straight away. There are different treatments available for the different types. You ready to kick a little leukemia booty? I am so ready! Back in the bloodstream. First up is chemotherapy, or chemo for short. This uses very strong medicines to kill the faulty white blood cells. The type of chemo you get will depend on the type of leukemia you have. Take that! Nice shot! You get chemo either as a tablet or liquid you swallow, or as an injection into your bloodstream or into a muscle. Things are looking better here, so let's head to... The brain! Chemo is delivered differently here. You get it as an injection into your back, just like a lumbar puncture, but instead of taking fluid out, medicines are put in. Warning! Chemo kills cells, both good ones and bad ones, that grow quickly. This means it also damages healthy cells that grow quickly. Like, one, hair cells, making your hair fall out. Two, skin cells in your mouth, causing a sore mouth. Three, red blood cells, which makes you feel tired. Chemotherapy can also make you feel sick. These are called side effects, and they usually stop soon after chemotherapy ends. Man, chemo is no joke. It sent those leukemia cells packing. Yeah, chemo medicines are very powerful which means you'll need to be in the hospital at first so that your doctors can keep a close eye on you. And since you'll be getting so many medicines that require injections, the doctors may give you a special access line. Then you can have medicines and blood tests through the line instead of having to get poked with needles every time. Alert, alert, more leukemia cells incoming. Charge, never surrender. Man, these guys don't give up. And neither do we. Grab your steroids. They're another group of medicines used to treat leukemia. Nice! Run away! Immediately give up! After clearing away all the leukemia cells they could find, our heroes return to MediHQ. Those medicines were awesome! Yeah, most children get better after treatment. But sometimes, chemo doesn't kill all the leukemia cells. The doctors might then suggest other treatments. Other treatments include stronger chemotherapy, radiotherapy, and bone marrow transplants or stem cell transplants. Radiotherapy uses x-rays to kill the leukemia cells. A bone marrow or stem cell transplant is when your leukemia cells are replaced with healthy bone marrow cells. Not everybody will have a bone marrow transplant. The doctors will explain what's best for you. I'm glad I understand my leukemia, but I'm still a bit scared. Having leukemia can be tough, but you're not alone. Many kids all around the world are going through the same things as you. Treatment means you might need to stay in the hospital sometimes. It can be hard being away from your family and friends, but they can come and visit you. It's normal to feel scared, worried, sad, and angry at times. It really helps to share your feelings with someone you trust. You can talk to your family, friends, doctors, and nurses. They are on your side. Thanks, Pump. I still don't understand why I got leukemia in the first place. We don't know exactly why some people get leukemia and others don't. But we do know it's not your fault or anybody else's fault. Wow, okay, I learned a lot. Let me make sure I've got it all. In leukemia, there's a fault in the bone marrow, so it makes faulty white blood cells that behave badly and split out of control, making the bone marrow very crowded. Leukemia makes you feel tired and short of breath. It also means cuts are slower to heal and you bruise easily, too. Chemotherapy uses strong medicines to kill the leukemia cells. Chemotherapy does a good job of destroying all the leukemia cells but I might also need other treatments. Leukemia can be scary, but it really helps to talk to my family and friends about how I'm feeling. Nailed it, Charlie. Well, time to send you back. Remember, leukemia is scary, but you are not alone. Thanks, Pump. Knowing what is going on in my body makes me feel a lot better. That's what I like to hear. I'm back and ready to start treatment for my leukemia. A year later. I'm not going to lie. There were good days and not so good days. 
But I kept going. And even when it was really tough, I had my family and friends for support. Now I'm back on the mend, back in the game, and back to being Charlie Green, the unstoppable soccer king. Yeah.